Two lovers, both alike in dignity, on this tabletop where we set our scene. Howdy and welcome. I'm Mike from Board Games for One, and this is the Board Game Nexus. Let's get to playing. We are playing Bonnie and Clyde. Where are you at, Bonnie and Clyde? You're here. Bonnie and Clyde, Love and Death, a solo game coming to Kickstarter on September 30th. That's right. So we are going to do a full playthrough and some final thoughts after so you can decide is this a solo game for you but first of all uh there we go as always a primer bonnie and clyde love and death is a one to two player game where you play as the famous desperados bonnie parker and clyde barrow behind the wheel of vintage cars stay together through stick-ups and shootouts and escape the police who are always on your tail don't worry it's not as dangerous as it sounds, or is it? The choice is yours, as Bonnie and Clyde Love and Death comes with variable difficulty levels. We all know how the story ends for Bonnie and Clyde, but that doesn't mean they can't win in their own way. To win, the love meter must be full and there must be at least two loot in the hideout. Then, the tragic lovers can stay for one last night together at the romantic farm. There are several ways to lose. If the love meter reaches zero, Bonnie and Clyde break up and the game ends. If either character dies from their wounds, the survivor is overcome with grief and the game is over. If you get into a shootout with no ammo, then you're stupid and the game ends immediately. Bonnie and Clyde Love and Death is made up of a series of turns and lasts until a victory or defeat condition is met. Each turn represents one day and starts with a pursuit. The police advance a given number of spaces. If they catch up to Bonnie and Clyde, a shootout occurs. As the game progresses, the police call in for help and become more difficult the more notorious you become. If you survive a shootout, you have the option of finding a new vintage car by spending search points, or if you're desperate, by hijacking a Ford Model A. But crime does not come without consequences. You'll continue your morning road trip by driving down country roads or the highway, each route bringing its own benefits and challenges. You need fuel to drive, so keep an eye on that gas tank and remember to fill up whenever possible. Follow the road from bottom to top, first resolving any mandatory events, then making optional stopovers when wanted. But be careful, making stops cost you time and the police are hot on your tail. You can stop over at small villages, towns, and cities. At each location, Bonnie and Clyde can shop for goods like weapons, ammo, food, and fuel by spending money. If they're hard up for cash, they can perform a stick-up instead. But be careful. The shop owners may or may not fight back. At some point, you'll need to get loot from the bank. Be sure you stock up on that ammo and hope for an easy stick-up. Sometimes... Bad things just happen, causing casualties. Bonnie and Clyde don't like to kill. If you're reckless, their love will suffer, and the police will become increasingly relentless. Not to mention, you just killed somebody. Surprise, twists, and misfortune may come your way no matter what, forcing you to draw a memory card. Memory cards are always bad, congratulations, but you can reverse their effects to make lemonade out of lemons by spending two search points. Also... Watch that driving. If you get in an accident, you might just lose your car and have to spend precious points to find a new one. Continue your road trip in the afternoon by drawing another road card and resolve any stopovers. At the end of the day, Bonnie and Clyde will need to rest. You can rest at any location on your road or stopover as long as you can pay the price. If there's nothing nearby, you can spend search points to find something even better off the beaten path. So keep your resources flowing, keep your love strong, and maybe, just maybe, you'll live to face justice another day. Welcome back. All right, so we've got the whole game set up here. I've got Clyde at full health, Bonnie at full health, I've got the Ford A, the starting car, 
full gas, no damage to the car. I've got my weapon seller all set up with the weapons on display that are available, cars that I can buy for clues later. I've got my roads out. I'm starting on the third space of the road track. The cops aren't on the road yet. That's great. I've got my ammo starting at 7, food starting at 7, cash starting at 4. I don't have any clues yet. Or search tokens. I'm not sure what they're going to be called in the final version. Uh, loot. No loot. Of course not. Love. They're at, a, they're at a happy little 4. They don't hate each other. They're not madly in love. But, um, you know, they're going to they're gonna make it through. A little less in love than they are in love. That's where they are. Search. To, they have absolutely no clue what's going on. No clues. And what have I got? Uh, we already went through that. Okay, yeah, we went through loot, we went through love, and deaths. There have been no casualties. Wonderful. First police we're going to run into will be the local police once they're on the board. I'm going to go through this playthrough with the intent of showing as much of the game as possible. So it may not be the best strategy. You may not want to do... Hey, we might get surprised. Maybe. But the point is to showcase so you know what the game is and if it's for you. Let's go. Let's start out in the morning, Bonnie and Clyde. We can go down a country road or the highway. Look, it's early on and they kind of need some love to make themselves feel a little closer to each other before the inevitable justice comes. So I'm going to go down the highway. I have to pay one gas. That's what it shows on the card. Boom. One gas. All right, we're down to three. Three quarters of a tank. And this is not good. We're starting out. Something unexpected happened. Oh, my goodness. The memory card. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. No. Somebody recognized them. And Clyde panicked. He shot him. We have a casualty, folks. That's not good. That means we now have police on the board. They are going to be going after us. That is so bad. Oh, Clyde. Oh, man. Well, at least their love didn't go down. All right, so I resolved that. And there is, what, there's a motel? I can't stay at a motel in the morning. Oh, my goodness, crazy people. Well, we get to move forward. I have a yellow car. You can see my speed is just medium, low to medium. It's not the fastest, this Ford A. But, yeah, whatever. We move forward. Okay, afternoon. See how this flies? We're going to continue with the same road card that we went on on the morning, unless there's an icon that tells us otherwise. All right, let's just keep riding. Yes, thank you. We have a clue. We, I'm going to call it clues. I think they're going to be like search, search points or investigative points. I'm just going to call them clues for now. Um, so bear with me. Okay, this is great. We're on a much better stretch of highway. We had a bad start this morning. But um, here we go. I can go off the road to a city, or we can stay at a cabin, which actually would be great. That that would you know that would be a wise start. But I also I have a chance to go to a city. Man, I'm gonna do it. All right, we're pulling off the highway, and the rule in this game is there is no turning back. Once you go off, that's it. Oh boy. All right, Dallas. Nice. We pulled all the way off into Dallas. Pretty cool. So first, what do I have to do? Going to a city always costs you more time, so there we go. We've lost a little time, but look at that. I gained two more clues. This is awesome because I need seven clues in order to find the romantic hideaway, which we're going to find. Okay, I get my two clues, and this is horrible. Ah, two more memories. Really? Like, what kind of start is this? Oh, my gravy. We're going to just put this up here. You don't have to sort them like this. I like keeping everything out and discarding it at the end of the turn. Oh my goodness. We lose time. They got in a, they got distracted. You know, Clyde, he was going by the men's clothing shop and he was like, man, I like those shoes. And lost time. That's it. But they had another moment. This one's Bonnie's. Oh no, Bonnie got distracted. No, she saw some dresses in a window, and she got in a car accident. Are you kidding me already? This is awful. Oh, car accidents are so bad. But here's the thing. before I haven't looked. Before I flip it, I can use two clue tokens to reverse that, which means that I get to repair my car to full. My car isn't damaged, but I don't know. You know what? It's only a four-day. We're going to let her have the accident. Man, oh, this is awful. 
do you know how bad you have no idea how bad this is it slowed us down so we are in a horrible spot we're gonna have a shootout with the police and an accident right there so that's going to be damage to the body boom really oh my gravy i guess you're supposed to have it that way there we go oh my gravy that was awful all right well we we dealt with those i'm putting them in a discard I'm just putting my discards over off screen here. And, well, man, we're going to do a lot of stuff. Okay, we need to rob a bank. We got a place to stay for the night. I can get food. I don't need food, but we do need ammo. So here's what I'm going to do first. We need ammo more than anything. So I'm going to do a stick up at the ammo shop. I'm going to do a stick up at the ammo shop. It's probably stupid. You know what? That's really stupid to hold up. Uh man yeah yeah because i don't need the ammo yet no we're not doing it uh oh, we're just going there we're going there and i am buying weapons uh you cannot stick up and buy weapons you can perform a stick up and get ammo correct me if i'm wrong if you're the designer watching this alex um but anyway i'm gonna get the the m917 enfield it's going to let me, makes me so sad, they're going to have to kill a cop uh, one, one time with one shot. It's very sad. Don't worry, they pay for it later. Um, or, I can stick up a bank and get an extra dollar. Or, the grenade, which causes three casualties, but you lose a love for it. However, you gain ammo, or basically you don't lose ammo, but you lose love because it's messy. Bonnie and Clyde don't actually want to kill. They really don't want to kill with a grenade. I don't either. It makes me sick. So I'm going to spend, oh man, I'm not going to have enough money. I'm going to spend three to get the M, you know what? I'm going to get the Thompson. We're going to go for, we're going to go for the Thompson. So this is pretty good. I think you can still see everything if I slide down just a little bit. There we go. And we're going to have his card. Really, either one of them can use this. You can have as many weapons as you want. You can just only equip one to each character for each stick up. So you can only use two weapons. All right. And this has unlimited use. So that's great. Paid three. Got it. I'm not going to buy any ammo because I don't need any ammo. So we're done at the weapon shop. You don't get to go back to the same place twice. We're done at the weapon shop. I don't need food. I do need gas. And I need money. So we're going to do a stick up. We're going to stick up the gas station. It's a normal stick up. So we're going to look for this poor lady with her hands up. Oh my goodness. A casualty. Man. They resisted. And Bonnie shot because she's crazy. Oh, Bonnie. Man. All right. Casualty. And so they lose some love for that because you know what? They've had a car accident. They've had two casualties. It's a bad day. It's a bad day. But you know what we did get? We did get two clues. So at least they're getting a clue of what's going on. Oh, my gravy. Really? Oh, Bonnie. Okay, but that's good. So we did a stick up, which means that we get gas. So let's take our gas back up. And it should have been at 2 because I should have taken gas down when I went down the highway. The icon tells me that, but I always forget it. So I'm going to go up 1, and am I going to spend my last dollar to get gas? It's too risky. It's too risky. It's too risky. Okay, so that leaves a doctor, but we don't need healed, so we're going to stay at a cabin for the night. So that takes us to the night phase. We want to stay. You want to avoid wild camping. Avoid it because you lose health, you lose love, you lose time, you lose food. It's awful. A cabin, all we lose is a dollar and food, okay, or money. Um, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a stick up, all right? We're going to hold, we're going we're gonna to tie up, I hope. I hope we're going to tie him up this time instead of, you know, accidentally shoot him. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Clyde's got his rope. We're going to make it, and we're going to do a hostage situation, please, Really? Oh my goodness. All they had to do was let me tie him up. I would have let him go in the morning. No. No, they didn't. They resisted. Clyde panicked this time. And what? We have another casualty already. Man. But we did take money out of his pockets. I'm so sad. Don't worry. Justice is coming for these two. Okay? Please. 
You don't worry. It's coming. Oh, Bonnie and Clyde. I just wanted you to be happy. All right, and that finishes our day. So I'm going to discard all my stuffs over here and highways and highways. Nighttime is over. It's time to wake up in the next morning. And this is really bad because, and please, if this is helpful, if you're enjoying this, be sure to give us a like so that this can be shown to more people and more people can enjoy this fantastic game and be able to back it to get a copy of it before it's too late. All right. Oh, so for the next day, what happens is first the police move forward. We do have a, um, we had our first police, so we have the local police after us, no kidding. They are going to move forward one space. And that's awful because that's where I am. So guess what? We're going to have a shootout because they caught up. You can only have one shootout per day, all right? Man. Ah. So I take a damage and I better have ammo. So first, um, Clyde actually takes damage on this one, okay? He gets nicked in the shoulder. The health is taken down. We lose an ammo in this fire, but we accelerate. Oops. We accelerate and we make it up here. So we're one ahead. You always get to go one ahead. Now the, um, the cop has taken a damage. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, I do take a damage. So the cop's taken one damage. If we get in another shootout, he's dead. And, oh, my goodness, did I forget to rob the bank? Can I go backward in time? Can I go backward in time? I'm, oh, can, I go, can I go backward in time? It won't change the state of the game. It won't, I swear. It won't change the state of the game. Um, I was supposed to rob the bank. I was supposed to rob the bank. I was supposed to rob the bank. I'm going back in time. You scream at me in the comments. Scream at me. Oh, my goodness. And I'm doing a stick up. I'm doing a stick up. How else can I do it? I am robbing a bank. So I look at the bank right here. What's going down? Uh, a casualty. And actually that, okay, that does change the state of the game. Don't worry. I'm going to fix all of it. I'm going to fix all of it. Because that means we're at our second cop right here. We are at the sheriff and deputy. And I'll, don't worry, I'm going to fix it. The only extra thing is we lost gas as well. Because it tells us right there. <sighs> All right. But what else did we get? We get something good. We lost health. Really? Okay, so who got hurt? It was Bonnie. Bonnie got hurt there. And we gain money. And we gain one loot. Which, here's the thing. Hear me out. Hear me out. Loot causes the police to move one space forward more. However, it wouldn't have, it didn't change the state of the game because they had already caught up to me anyway. So nothing happened, nothing happened. Everything is as it should be. Thank you for being understanding with my madness. This is terrible. What an adventure though, right? What an adventure. But you know what? I am personally going to start a, a, a fund for these families of the deceased. Oh my goodness. So sad. Okay, but you're out of Get out of here. Oh my goodness. Um, oh, and I forgot when I rob a bank, I used this. I used, don't worry, I'm going to catch up. I'm going to catch up. I, I gained an extra dollar because Clyde used the Thompson M 1921 to gain an extra dollar when holding up a bank. Well done. Whew. All right. Now it's time for us to continue on the road. All right. I think we need to, do we need to get off the highway and go down a country road? That should be flipped down. All of these should be flipped down. What is wrong with you, Michael the Gray? Oh my goodness. You don't deserve to be Michael the Gray acting like that. And of course, I replenish the weapons. So we now have a Colt 38 available, which I can take one wound. Oh, I know what it is. Instead of any time that I would take a wound, I can place a little cube here and it took the wound for me. I like blocked with the gun or something like that, you know, but you can only do it once or I can take a new memory card if I don't like the one that I drew and you can only do that once as well. All right. So that's available. What are we doing? The highway or 
a country road. Let me show you country roads. We're going down a country road, which costs us one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before that, I for, I'm so used to not having clues. Okay. After the police go forward, after we wake up, um, we got away. That's great. I can also spend clues to get a new car, which is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend my five clues, all five of them, to get the best car available, the Ford four-door deluxe sedan. Look at that. That is awesome. And I'm depositing. I had loot in this car, so I'm depositing it. There we go, in the hideout. So, boom. Pretty cool. So, we have one loot. We need two to win. And I am upgrading this car to the Ford four-door deluxe sedan, baby. Sweet. Okay. It cost five clues. I spent them. We start out with a full tank of gas and full body. So we are right here. There we go. Boom. At the three. This is the fastest car. It can hold three loot. And every morning that we're driving it, we go up to love. That's going to be so helpful. So helpful. Trust me. So we're still in this game. Let's go. Country roads. Spend one gas. Remind me to do that. Let me know if you have questions in the comments. Let me know if I'm confusing you. Goodness sake. I hope not. It's actually, the, the iconography is done so well. It's just, it's easy for me to read. I don't even have a cheat. I don't have the rolls near me. I don't have a cheat card, nothing. I got an itchy nose. Stop it. Don't embarrass me in front of my friends. All right, memory card. Boom. Whoops, that's, yeah, that's memory. Because <sighs> when it's yellow, it's mandatory. White is optional. I can lose an ammo, lose food, or increase casualties. Casualties, no thank you. I don't want anyone to die. Um, what we can do is lose food, which we lost to food when we stayed in the cabin. So we're down to five. Boom. And I'm just going to discard you. We can, why would I stop at a cabin in the morning? You can only sleep at night. And, oh man, you know I should have gone on the highway. And you know why? Highways are faster. And I have a fast car now. So we could have gone at like three ahead. So I'm going to go forward one. And since we, yeah, we shot the police. So he's right there. Oh my goodness. <sighs> okay. And I had to pick a country road again. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Because he's going to move forward. Oh my goodness. We're now on two. He's going to move forward two spaces. He's going to move faster. So we're having a shootout. Like, I can't I can't get out. Uh, we gain another clue. That's awesome. And I can go to a town. Or I can keep going forward, get a memory card, and go forward one space. No. Um, we're going to have a sh There's no way out of it. There's no way out of this. I'm going to have another shootout. I. So I'm going to need two ammo. And, and that's it. I'm going to need two ammo and to handle taking two casualties. All right. Whatever. We're going off to the side. I have ammo. Let's do this. What's in this town? Ooh, it's Macadochis. And there is nothing amazing going on here in Mac Macadochis. But I gained a clue. I love those clues. And another memory what happened what happened today what happened today y'all oh oh my goodness what happened let's see do we lose money weapons casualty i'll tell you what we need uh we are going to lose an ammo because it was clyde's fault it was clyde's fault you know they were driving and he put an ammo case on the top of the car with his coffee of course and drove off like really Clyde oh my goodness okay we dealt with the memory I can do a difficult stick up at the food place but that's gonna cost me ammo which is really precious right now and I do have money so and I don't want that what I really want is gas okay so did I go down two? I went down my second road I have I have to remember it's on the card. The card tells me to take the gas off. I just forget to read it. Um, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Am I doing a hard... I'm, you know what? I'm doing this for your sake. For your sake. That's that's right. 
Um, so I'm going to do a stick up to show you what a difficult stick up looks like. So when you got this guy with the rifle, it means they are really fighting back hard. And that's a memory card. I don't need that. I need a stick up. So we're going to the hard stick up this side. All right. Casualty and an ammo. Man, he didn't. I mean, yeah, it's his. Look, it's his food shop. Really, we shouldn't have stuck up the place. But anyway, since it's a difficult stick up, you get two of whatever the place provides. So we get two food, which I actually do need. So we're back to maximum food supplies. But was it worth it? No, no. And right now I am disappointed in Bonnie and Clyde for that one. Shame on you. Okay. And you know what's really bad? I don't have anywhere to stay. I don't have anywhere to stay, but this is great for demo. So what I do have are three clues. So we need to find a place to rest. I can camp in the wild. No, thank you. Or I can spend clues to stay at any of these places. Two clues for the workers camp, the house, the abandoned house are, um, the abandoned house, three clues, the house is two clues. Here's the benefits. Does anything give me time? Yes, because that's what I want. That's awesome. So I can stay at an abandoned house, lose one food, gain love, time, and ammo. That's awesome. Or stay at a house, gain two love and time. Uh, you know what? I'm getting, I've got a love engine down here. Love engine. I've got a love engine down there. Workers camp lets me take any, any one benefit here. I can move any one thing up. Um, or gain time. And, and gain time. I'll tell you what, I'm spending three clues and I'm doing the abandoned house. We are spending one food. We had a nice, they actually had a nice romantic meal together. They had one candle at this abandoned house. It was, it was really beautiful. You know, they were kind of away from the windows, but they really felt connected for a moment, which of course increased what? Their love. That's right. They love each other more than they don't now. That's good. That's good considering the stress they've been through. Goodness. Gain time. All right. I love it. And we gain ammo. Yes, please. And thank you. All right. Let's discard. We're at the end of our night. There we go. Country roads it was. It's time for me to get on the highway and get away from these scary police. Oh, my goodness. Gravy Davis. Put that at the top there. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, the police are going to advance how many? Two spaces. We've got the sheriff, and he's on the second level. You know, we we shot him. Dude's kind of angry. Don't blame him. But we're still okay. Awesome. I don't have any clues to spend, but our car does give us two love. Pretty awesome. Boom and boom. So we're almost at full out. Look, their hearts are just racing for each other. It is a moment while they are flying down this road. Two of those. I need more loot. And I need healed. I need all kinds of stuff. That ends the wake up portion. Let's move on to some country roads. Actually, you know what? Let's go on to some city roads. And this turn, I'm going to try to use one of their abilities if we need it. So you can see how that works. Each character has their own special ability. Clyde's you can use once in the game. You put a cube to show it. And he either can draw a new highway card or a new country card if you don't like what you drew. Bonnie Parker's lets you draw a village card or a town card. All right? So not bad. I believe it's to replace what's there. I'll clarify that actually, Alex, if you're watching, if you want to clarify that in the comments. I believe it's to replace a card you drew, but I don't see the circle icon, so it could be that you are able to just draw a road card at any point or draw a town or village card at any point. Quick question for you. All right, I'll ask you as well. Okay, so nothing, nothing mandatory happens. We can keep going forward, gain a clue, and go forward twice. Or we can stop over, and I forgot to spend gas, we can stop over, we can hold up a store for some food, no, and, or we can go to a town. I really want some gas, I really want some gas, but I really want some time as well. You know what, I'm going to take the clue, and I'm going to take the time, boom, boom. So, 
we're kind of safe for the moment. Let's do it again. Continue down the highway. Uh, nothing bad happens down here. I can pull off to the city. Sounds good to me, but we're going to lose one time if I do that. Or, ah, uh, boy. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to pull up. We're going to go into the city. Let's go. Oh, and I have to spend gas. Please have a gas station. Yes. The first thing I want is gas. So I'm going to the gas station, and uh, granted I have money, but I'd rather do a stick-up because, hey, really? Oh, my goodness, these, these people. Ugh. This woman lunged at Bonnie, and Clyde just panicked, and what do you know? Casualty. Love goes down one. Nobody wanted that to happen. We had to take the money from her pocket. Oh, my goodness. Poor, poor lady. We will, yeah, we're going to be, we're going to be doing some serious making up for some bad decisions here. And I also, of course, get um, gas. It was a normal stick up. So I get one gas and I'm going to spend money to fill up completely. So one, two, three, one, two, three, because I don't want to lose this car. I love this car. And you know what I should have done before that? Of course, I skipped it. We lose one time. I already knew that. You always lose time when you stay in a city, but we gained a clue. And we got a memory card. What kind of memory? Ha <gasps> no. No. I'll tell you what. Yeah, so I was at two. So that actually would have been boom, boom, because this would have happened first. So I would have been at zero. And then I did the stick up and then I spent how much money? Two money. Boom, boom. To get it three. Oh my goodness. They lost gas. I, I don't know what happened. There was like a puncture in the tank or something like that. And it just started dripping off. And Bonnie got all MacGyver on it. And she like took her chewing gum and she like stuffed the tank and blocked it. So they're good again. Um, so that might mean... That only takes me up to three. Granted, I could have spent my two clues um, to reverse that. I could have spent my two clues to reverse it. But that's going to change. I, I don't want to confuse you. So, uh, And you already saw how to do that. So we're going to stay like this. Am I going to spend my last two? Mo yes, I Or am I going to spend money to stay at a place? I think that's what I need to do because I need to start gaining clues. So I need money. I need money. I need gas. I need everything. I need everything. I'm I'm still at the gas station. I'm spending the rest of the money to go all the way up. Look, I need gas. And I don't need food. I do need a doctor. And I'm, oh no, I can't stick up the doctor. He won't heal me. Oh dear. Oh dear. We're going to hold up the bank. We're going to stick up the bank. Here we go. I'm using the Thompson M1921. And what's going down? Okay, we lost an ammo. And someone, we have a casualty. Now there's an icon here, which we are not using in this game. This is optional. It's super fun. Um, where this little tablet here, whenever you see the, a little red mark up here, then you move forward one space. During the first two, nothing happens. But once you get up to the third, there's some kind of negative consequence and also a positive consequence that actually helps you in the game. So it basically just changes the game up. The longer you play, the more this changes. We're not doing it in this game since it's optional. But otherwise, I always play with that card. And if you play a shorter game, like we're playing easy normal mode, um, I'm not sure if it's easy or normal. We'll find out on the Kickstarter side, but it's definitely not the hard mode, my friend. Um, when playing easy or normal, you may finish the game before you really climb up on that. You play hard mode, something longer. Maybe not. Okay, we lost some gas. Man, man, we just cannot protect that gas tank. And our car took some damage when we were trying to get away. They shot, they hit the gas tank, it's bad. But we did get three money, and that's helpful. And we did get some loot, so I'm going to put some loot there. These should not be those two. 
This should be those two. There we are. Um, so we got one loot. That's great. That If I get to deposit it, that's going to give us two loot. Here's the problem. That means the cop is going to move one space more because we robbed this bank and we have loot. Oh, credenza, pretenza. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, I'm going to spend money is what I'm going to do. I can't go back to the gas station, but I can go to the doctor, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm not going to stick up. I'm going to pay one, two, to heal and heal them both. So we're okay. Did I need to do that? No. But you know what? Bonnie loves Clyde, and Clyde loves Bonnie, and they bandaged each other. It was a really romantic moment. But it didn't take their love up. No, it didn't. Now we need to stay somewhere. We're going to stay at the cabin. Please tell me I have the money. I don't want to spend the clues. Uh, cabin is one dollar. We lose food and we get no benefits. Eek. Ugh. Oh well, that's all right. Let's do it. Stay at the cabin. Uh, one dollar and one food, and that's a night. That's a wrap. Okay. Sleep well, you two. Crazy little need some serious therapy. Love birds, or maybe they just need correction, actually. They probably just need correction. Okay, next morning, we're in trouble. Why? Cops moving forward. The sheriff is moving forward two spaces, plus one for the loot in my car. One, two, he catches up to me, doesn't need to move any further. What do we have? A shootout. Two casualties. Are you ready for this? Boom, and boom. What does that mean? That means, oh, isn't it? you know what? I, I kind of messed up on something here. I kind of messed up on something, and I realize I have a question. When you replace, um, when you replace cops, so I just got here, which means I upgrade to the next level of law enforcement after me. And when you do that, they restart at the beginning. Um, however, we're going to finish this shootout. We'd finish this shootout, and then we'll replace. Okay, so boom, boom. There we go. I gain some time, I accelerate, a little late for that, right? I also lose two ammo, boom, boom. Dangerous, I need ammo really bad right now. But unfortunately, unfortunately, Bonnie and Clyde, um, they, they just killed him. They killed him. So they gain a clue. They gain love, not because they like killing, but because they fought for their lives together and, you know, they made it. But it's really sad. So he is gone, and he upgrades because I'm up there. Boom. There you go. Goodbye. Who's next? Is it, um, is it the detective? I think it's the detective that's next. Let me see. Let me see. We've got boom, boom. Yep, we're at the detective now. Okay, so one, two, three. There we are. We're at the detective. He starts back at the beginning. Oh, boy. And he's going to take two ammo every shootout. Oh. We're in trouble. But, man, he's sharp. Um, all right. Clyde better watch out. He might steal Bonnie's heart. Okay. Uh, clues. Am I going to spend clues for a car? No. No. What I really need, I don't need time, so we're taking country roads. What I need is a mechanic. Um, and I need clues. I don't need memories. Don't give me more me Oh, gas. Memories. I don't need more memories, but here we go. All right. We are... I can either take two damage or reverse it and heal twice. Well, I just healed, so I'm not spending clues to reverse that. And I forgot I am depositing that loot. I did that in the morning. So we have all the loot we need for this easy normal mode. All the... It's actually easy mode. Um but it makes me feel better if I say normal. All right, we have all the loot we need. Love is full, actually, because with this in the morning, it always goes up two, doesn't go above the highest point. So we're cool. We have everything we need. I just need to get to six clues, and man, we could get to sleep in the romantic farm tonight if I can get seven clues, six clues, if I can get three more clues. Man, I need those. I need those. But you know what? Let's not panic. No, oh, I kind of want to panic. All right, gas. I need gas. I'm going to do a stick up. I don't have any ammo. Ah. 
you know what, Clyde? We're gonna draw another card. I'm gonna use his ability. We might be we might be nearing the end, so I'm gonna do this. Um, we already we already resolved that. Give me a new one. Boom. All right, and I don't have to spend the gas. So, although it's too late to do that because I already resolved the memory, so I should have done that before. So it's really, really too late to draw that card. I guess I'll save it for the highway. Man, I have no choice. I, I don't want to spend my ammo, but I have to. I have no choice. I have no choice. Sticking up the gas station. Please be kind. Really? Ammo and a casualty? Oh my goodness. Bonnie and Clyde are just coming on way too aggressive. They need to kind of smooth people into it. Raise love, but we're already at the top. Um, getting this car really solves your love problems because back seat. Um, Bonnie and Clyde there. Um, they're married. Uh, what do we got? Hmm. Oh, I get gas. There's a normal stick up. So let's go up one. And am I going to pay money to fill up all the way? I kind of feel like I should, you know? I really feel like I should have full gas while I can. Ah, we're doing it. All right, memories. Here we go. What terror to lose? Oh my goodness, they got in a fight. They got in a fight. I don't know what it was. I think it was the cake. It was the cake. Clyde made a cake, and Bonnie was like, why'd you make a cake in the car? It's messy. Really? Think. Oh my goodness, they lost love. But that's okay. We can get that back. That's the best that could have happened. We gain time. Boom. And spend gas. On to our next country road. Woo, this country road goes to a city. But here's the trouble. I, I really want that clue up there. But I get a chance to go to a city. I better go to the city. All right, let's deal with another memory. What happened? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, Clyde was like, you know what? I liked the cake. And I was totally clean. I didn't even make a mess in the car. I can't believe that you're mad at me. So they are not going to be sleeping in the romantic farm tonight, my friends. Not after that one. And I'm not spending the clues to reverse it. So I can go to the city or I can just keep going forward. I'm going to the city because I want a weapon shop. So we're going to lose time, but I can deal with that. Lose time, gain two clues. I love it. Boom, boom. One more clue. One more clue, my friends. Again, if you're enjoying this, give me a like. Please give it a like so more people can find it. I want people to see this game. I enjoy this game. Um, two memories. Ugh. Two memories. Oh, man. Uh, lose one gas or spend two clues to reverse that and gain one gas. I don't, I don't want to lose the clues. I also don't want to lose my car. Hmm. This is it. I'm, I'm doing it. Just make decisions, right? Next, these memory cards are brutal. All right, what happened? Did they drop their ammo, lose their gas, or lose some health? I'll tell you what happened. Clyde bumped into, he, he like was closing the car door and he smashed his finger. He got so mad. Oh my goodness. He was so angry, and um, yeah, he got injured, but they're okay. They're going to be all right. Okay, so we've got a mechanic. That's great. You know what? I think um, I think I may have made a mistake at one point and um, used a mechanic as a gas station, but that's all right. So I've got a mechanic, a grocery store, a weapon shop, and we can stay at a hotel to gain two love and time. I don't really need that. Uh, I, I really don't, but you know, whatever. If I stick up the bank, we're gonna have more loot, which is okay right now, and maybe get more money, but I need more ammo first. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna stick up the weapon shop for the ammo. Let's do it. 
please be peaceful. Thank you. You know what? He was like, hey, you guys, just don't tell anybody. Right? <gasps> but we lost a clue. Oh, no. But we gained a dollar. It was a normal stick up, so we gained one ammo. And I really should spend um, all the money I have, one, two, to take that ammo up because I need it. Weapon shop is done. Um, well, I did a stick up, but um, now I can actually, I can't stick up the weapons, but I can buy a weapon. I can buy a second weapon, which even though it seems like we're close to the end, I should do. Oh, but I spent all my money, so never mind. I have no money to buy it. So guess where we're going? We're not going to the grocery store. We're going to the bank. And the only thing you do at the bank is stick up. Please don't be too bad. Okay, two casualties. Boom. Going down one love. Boy, this is... um. Yeah, they really just lost a lot of love this time. Right? Did I read that right? Why did I why did I see love? I don't see that. What am I thinking? Oh, because got it, got it, because the casualty track went up. I was wondering what on earth I was doing there. Alright, and someone got injured. Bonnie got injured this time. Alright, they got two money and they got loot. They got another loot. And remember, the cops, when they're following you, they move forward one space if you have one or more new loot. Not one for every loot, just one space if you have one or more loot. So, you know, if you can have more, it's great. Oh, man. That was brutal. But, I mean, I have two money at least. And that leaves a grocery store. I mean, I can do a stick up, but and get food, but I just don't need it enough, and I'm a little worried. And I need these clues to go up. I just need two more. Man. So I can spend clues to stay somewhere good and kind of recuperate, or I can pay money and stay at this hotel. I don't have enough money. I don't have enough money to stay at the hotel. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm in trouble. So, I have to... I have no choice. I have to spend clues. So, I can stay at the abandoned house for three. The house or the workers camp. And I'm thinking the workers camp is sufficient. Because I lose nothing, I lose two clues, I gain time, which is fine, and one of anything that I need, which is going to be ammo. I need ammo. Because uh, I can go up in gas, I can repair the car, I really do need to repair that car. Hmm... Yeah. I'm going to stay at the workers' camp. One, two. And I'm going to go up one ammo. And I gain one time. And that ends the night. Okay, so I'm a little worried now. I'm a little more worried if I'm going to be able to pull this off. It's morning. The cops advance. They go forward one space. And one for my loot. And that's it. They didn't catch up. Thank goodness. I'm going to deposit my loot. So we have three loot. Um, the wind condition is two, so the loot actually doesn't, when you're playing in easy mode, the loot doesn't give you an advantage once you pass that two. Um, but playing in harder mode, scalable difficulty, it matters. All right, we got the loot. And I'm not going to spend clues for a car. So I guess I'm going to go down a country road. Here we go. Gas station, and it's a difficult stick up. We're doing it. Gas station, difficult stick up. All right. Uh, we've got a casualty. Don't love that. And we lost an ammo. Don't love that. Gained a dollar. It's a hard stick up, so we gained two gas. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. 
All right, now I can veer off onto the highway or I can go to the doctor. We can spend some money and heal up, which you know, wouldn't be bad. We can heal up, finish the road, and keep moving. I think that's better. I don't need to switch to a highway. I don't need to. So let's go to the doctor and let's get some heals. I'm going to the doctor and I'm spending $2, one and two, to take our health down too. And we're gonna continue on the, the next, the afternoon. Boom, spend one gas. And here we go. I can stop for food. We're fine on food, honestly. I don't think, did I remember? Yeah, I didn't have to lose any food. The work camp. All right, so I can veer. Oh, I, I forgot the two love at the beginning. Two love every time you, um, every day that goes up. It's pretty good. Okay, I can go off to a town. Or I guess that's a village. Um, or I can go straight, gain some love, and end the day. With nothing really, you know, incredible happening. I don't want to do that. I don't see any point in it. Let's, uh, let's see what's at this village or this little farm town. We gain a clue. I like that. All right. And we gain some, I can go food, weapons, and sleep at a cabin. Okay. Okay. Cabin's only $1. That will use all my money. Am I going to stick up the weapons place again? I am. I am. Here we go. Stick them up. And we draw a memory card and gain a dollar. Okay. What happened? I lose something. I lose gas, two money, or ammo. I I kind of came here for ammo. I don't want to lose gas because I don't want to lose my car. I can't lose too money, so I lose one ammo. All right. All right. Fine. If that's what you say. That's what I'll do. We'll go over there. Oh boy. Um, and then I gain money. I also gain one ammo, and I can spend money to increase that ammo, but then I won't have any money for sleeping over, and I'll have to spend a night again by using my search points, and I need to get these search points up. <sighs> but I, yeah. You know, it's like when you're there, you may as well, you may as well go all out, you know? You may as well go all out and use everything. Did I put the town away? Why did I do that? I'm still at your town. Um, uh, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go up at least one. Boom. And that leaves me with one dollar. That's fine. So I'm going to sleep at the cabin. Lose one food, but I don't gain anything. But I do have three clues. Uh, we're going to be all right. And that was in the afternoon. So that's what we're doing. All right. Slept there. Had a nice dinner together. And that was the end of their night. I also spent my last dollar. Country roads. Country road. Yes, you don't need that. I don't need that. It's morning. Good morning. We are going to move forward one space. I have no loot, so just one space is good. I'm not going to uh, switch cars at all. I get two love. Boom, boom. So they are full of love again. I love it. I love it. I love that they love. You know what? When I robbed those banks those two times, the last time I forgot to give myself money, so I'm giving myself that extra money. Backtracking is beautiful. All right, it tells me right there to do it. It's not that the game isn't telling me. I just get so nervous in the camera. All right, here we go. We are ready to start our morning. Should we? The thing is, I don't need time. So uh, there's a better chance of getting to a city. 
um, which might give me clues, but it's also going to give me memories. So I'm kind of like, we don't need time. So I'm going to spend, oh, we just won't have as many chances of getting gas. So I'm going to take a highway, and if I don't like it, we'll use his ability. Food and gas. I like this one. I, I'm going to do it. I'm going to stick up the gas station. I'm going to stick up the gas station. Oh, we used up all of them. Awesome. So you just shuffle up your cards. Shuffle them up. And let's do it. We're going to stick up the gas station. You don't have to stick up, by the way. You can just stop there and pay money. But, you know, I don't have money. So what happened? Man, these casualties are going to be the end of me. Uh, two money. Boom. And ammo. That icon is always ammo and a casualty. Oh, boy. All right. Am I going to spend... Okay, so I got one gas for that. And I'm going to spend money to fill up my gas. Because, like, when I stop at these places, I may as well max out everything, right? I may as well. And I get to move forward up to three. I can't go any further. So what happens is when you get to the end, then the cops go backward. One, two. Because I got to move forward. One, two, three. Because I have the fastest car. So they go back. So they're back at the beginning. That's great. So at least we're not getting any shootouts right now. And we go to our next highway. Spend, a, spend some fuel. I could use a mechanic. Uh, gas. Do I want to stop there again and just spend a dollar? And then I can go off the road to a town or I can repair my car and move forward. I would like to repair my car. Uh, we're going to do two more. Look, we're just going to do stick up, stick up, and hope for the best. I, I hope I don't have to draw a memory card. So we're going to stick up for gas. Boom. And good, good. They were cooperative, so I gained a dollar. All right. And we didn't lose anything. Well done. And I gained a gas. Awesome. And I'm going to keep going forward, and I'm going to go to this mechanic shop. And the mechanic uh, won't help me if I do a stick-up, so I have to pay. Um, and it would be a difficult stick-up anyway, so I would get whatever the bonus is, but I wouldn't get to get my car repaired, which is the whole point. So guess what I'm doing? Oh, wait. That will leave me with no place to stay. I'll have to spend all my clues because I'm just not drawing any clues right now which because I need to go to a city. So I guess we're not repairing the car. We're going to this place. Here we go. All right, gas station. It would be a difficult stick up. I don't need that. But first, of course, we gain a clue. Thank you. And we draw a memory card. Oh, boy. Two ammo, two casualties, or, or spend two clues to reverse it. Man, I'm so close to six. But if I go forward two casualties, I go, the next series of law enforcement is going to come after me. And, man, I think I'm going to do it, though. I think they're just going to go all out. I have everything I need. I just need the more clues. So here's the trouble. There's nowhere to sleep. So I'm going to have to use, use Bonnie's card, I think. Mm, this is bad. This is bad. Ah. Uh, uh. You know what? Uh, no, I'm going to go two. I'm going to lose two clues, reverse this to gain two ammo. You can't reverse casualties. You know, I mean, what's done is done. But you can at least gain the two ammo instead. So I spent two clues to reverse that. Oh, man. Okay, now I don't, um, I don't have a place to stay. I don't have a place to stay. So I'm going to stick up the food place. Boom. It's a safe one. Oh my goodness. I lose an ammo. 
and there's a casualty, so congratulations. We now have the next one, Frank, not Frank Hammer, actually. It's, um, who is it? Oh, there we go. It's the Texas Ranger is now after me. So they go back to the very beginning. Oh, my goodness. That's bad. And we get another casualty. That's bad. And we gain, a, we gain a dollar. Was it worth it? No. It's never worth it. Uh, but we gain food. It was not a difficult stick up. I'm not spending money because we're not using that much food. And that just leaves the gas station. We're full. I'm not messing with it. We are going to have to use our clues to stay the night. So two clues to stay at a worker's camp or at the house. Oh, man. I think the workers camp because I don't need love or time. So two clues, sleeping at the workers, oops, sorry, that's dollars. One, two clues, staying at the workers camp. And we are going to gain time. They're already off the board. And one of our resources. So I'm going to repair the car. That's what I'm going to do. And I think I actually had it going the wrong way. I started at three and I was counting down. I think you actually start at the car and move your way up. That's what it is. Okay, so I'm down to one, only one damage. Just like their health cards. Okay. Oh, boy. All right, so we stayed overnight. Ends that lovely little road trip. I need clues now. That's it. I just need clues. I just need to go hard at clues. All right. Uh, police move forward. How many spaces? One. I don't have any loot. Good. I'm not purchasing any cars. Car uh, love goes up by two. We're good. Where are we going? We're spending one gas and we're going down the country roads or the highway? Country roads. Give me some clues. All right. I can just start sticking up places to try and find clues. I want to go forward because I have a guaranteed clue right there. So I'm just going to skip everything, I think. Yeah. I'm just, I can, or I can keep doing stick-ups. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to keep doing stick-ups. So I'm going to do a stick-up stick up for food. And I gained two money. Hey, that was a good one. And they just gave it to me and told me to go away. Wise people, thank you for being wise. These two psychotic lovebirds, don't mess with them. I'm not going off the road. I'm going here, so I gain a clue. Awesome. I gain time, so they go backward. Oh, but they don't ever go back off. Once they're on, that's it. So they're as far back as they go. Next road card, spend some gas. Boom. Gain a clue. I like it. Memory card. I don't like it. I Health or... Spend two clues to fully heal because I would heal one, two. I almost want to do it just to be fully healed, you know? Um, I really do. It's either that or risk it. No, we need, you know what we need? We just need to do this. Uh, we just need to do this. So let's keep going. So resolve the memory. Gain time. They're at the beginning. This is bad because um, I need to draw a town card. So I'm going to use her ability. And I'm going to draw a town card. And hope, please, that there's a place to stay. There is. Thank goodness. All right. So I lose time. That's all right. I gain a clue. I love it. I'm halfway there. I can stick up a gas station. I'm going to do it. Stick up a gas station. I can stick up a grocery. Did I stick up the grocery? I did, which meant I got food. Um, I'm going to stick up a gas station. And we have a casualty. That's not good. We lose an ammo. That's not good. We lose a... Oh, man, I get a wound. That's bad. So Clyde is about at the end. That's really bad. We gain money. Ooh, I need a doctor. I need a doctor. And that was a gas station, so we get one gas, I spend one money to fill up the tank to full. I need to watch their health now. This is getting dangerous. Okay, now, uh, I don't know if I can afford any more stick-ups. I can stick up the bank to, it's going to give me casualties. Oh, man. I can sleep over at the motel for $2.00. We gain love, we gain time. 
and I don't lose any clues. I think that's the wisest. I mean, otherwise, I can do two stick-ups and hope that there are clue gains and not losses. So let's not panic. Let's not panic. Let's stick up. Let's stick up. Or let's stay at the motel or stick up the motel. Hmm. I can pay two dollars or do a difficult stick up. Hmm. I'm gonna pay two dollars and we're gonna stay at the motel to lose one food and gain love. I don't need it. Gain time. Okay. Cool. Did that. So if you did a stick up, then you don't have to pay whatever the costs are. So you wouldn't have to pay the food for that. Okay, so we ended our day on those country roads. And those country roads brought us some clues. That's okay. It's the morning, the police advance. One, I don't have any loot. I'm not trading for any cars because I love my car. And I gained two love, but we're already maxed out. What do you say? Are we going country or city? Well, let's take some city roads and eek, see what happens. Awesome. We're going to gain another clue. That's what we want. That's what we want. Um, so we can stop at this gas station. Not really what I... I don't... I'm afraid to stick up because of their health, but it's a gas station. I'm going to do a stick up. Please be good. Thank you. Gained a dollar. They didn't fight. I love it. We're going to go up and we're going to gain a clue. So we're up to four out of six. We just need to get to six. And then one, two, three. We get all those times. Boom. And I forgot to mention, I hope I have, um, I have been missing something. I've been missing something. And Alex, you're probably going to scream at me in the comments. Is something very simple. There isn't an icon to remind me. That's the only icon that isn't there to remind me um, that I'm aware of. So that's that's why this happened. Your first stop is free. Every other stopover costs you one time, which means what that means is. So if I had a stop here, okay, but then if I took another stop there then I lose whatever the rightmost time is, right? So if I continue to the end of the road still, I would only get these two, right? And then if I were to take a third stop, then I would lose this one. And that's just how many spaces you go forward. I don't think that's going to have changed the game much. I don't believe there were many two stops where I didn't actually veer off the road. So my apologies there. Good to clarify that. Okay. All right, so I did the stick up and I also got gas. Awesome. I gain a clue. Boom. We're up to, wait, did I already move it up? I did. I already moved it up. I tried to do it again. Oh, my goodness. All right, so we'll leave you there and we're going down the highway. And it's like the exact same cards. I don't want that memory, so I'm going to use his ability to draw another highway card. And hopefully it's a clue and I have to spend one gas for that first road. All right. So I can stop at the grocery or go to this town. I can do a stick up at the grocery um, just to see if I get some information. You know, I think I will. So that stop is free. And then I'm definitely veering off to go to this town because I need a place to sleep and I don't want another memory. All right, here we go. It's a peaceful stick up. Thank goodness. It's I swear I shuffled these. I shuffled them. I did. Um, I shuffled them. Oh my goodness. But we gain a dollar and I gain a food. So we're at max food. That's great. And we're veering off to go to this town. Give me something good. Uh, weapons merchant and cabin. I need both. All right, so I lose time. I can deal with that. I gain a clue. I'm one away, okay? So I just need to make it. This game is about kind of building an engine and not necessarily panicking early, um, but making sure. I Really, I should have more weapons. That I usually have like three weapons um, or four, but I have more than one weapon usually. But we've been doing all right. Again, we're playing easy. Okay. Uh, gained a clue, lost time, and I can do a stick up to get ammo, but it's going to be a 
difficult stick up or I can just pay money to increase my ammo because they need a doctor and these stick ups are dangerous and it's a dangerous stick up um, but the thing is I could buy another weapon which could help me that's what I'm gonna do that's what I'm gonna do we are going to this could break the game I'm gonna risk it and do a dangerous stick up and oh boy what happened uh, another casualty so we lost one love and we lost one ammo I gained a dollar and we gain love back all right I'll take that so we made it we made up uh, and we gained an ammo and two actually because it was a difficult stick up so we gained those two all right and I'll you know I will have to check in the rules if you stick up the weapon shop, I don't know if the merchant um, sells to you. That may be a role. Since I've been playing it that he does, I'm just going to continue with that. All right, But that would be worth me checking the rule book for that. Because I know the doctor, if you stick them up, they won't heal you. The mechanic, if you stick them up, they won't repair your car. Weapons merchant, I know you can't stick up and take the weapons. And it makes sense because they like cost money. Um, but you can get ammo. All right. I'm going to pay $2 to get the Colt 38 because it's going to give me basically one more free health if I need it. And now we are not going to stop at the grocery store. We're going to stay at the cabin. We're going to pay $1, lose one food, and that is that. Is that. So we're almost there. All right, five clues. We are. I think we're going to make it. I think Bonnie and Clyde are going to have a final romantic night together. So it's morning. The cops advance one, and I don't have any loot. I'm not getting another car. No, thank you. I love this car. We gain two love. We're full. But that's why I know like the love is always full, but part of the reason is because I have this car. Otherwise, you might have your clues high enough, and your love keeps getting knocked down surprise, you know, by surprise. So... Let's do this again. What are we doing? Are we doing highways or are we doing country roads? We don't really, I mean, we don't need the time or anything like that. I'm doing country roads. Let's use our gas. Yes, six clues. All I need to do is get to the end of the road. I'm not doing stick ups. I'm not doing anything. I'm going straight through, thank you. Unless I need, do I need to buy food? No, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gaining time. Boom. It's the afternoon. Country road. Please don't be bad. This is okay though. It's okay. I have to draw a memory card. This could break. This could break my game. But I have. I have a backup. Oh, thank goodness. We can do it. We we did it. So Bonnie and Clyde. Do you know what they did? They decided. You know what? No more. And they threw their ammo out the window. No more. We have done enough damage. And do you know what? You know what they're going to do? This may not be historically accurate, but you know what they're going to do in my game? They're going to turn themselves in. That's what they just decided to do. They threw their ammo at the window. They've killed. They're have they responsible for 17 people's lives ending. 17 people's lives ending. And they're going to turn themselves in. But before they do, they're going to spend one night together at the romantic farm. So they're going to finish the road, gain time. We're at the top, which means we send... The Texas Ranger to the back. I tell you, I've never had this happen. So this is nice. I like the strategy of getting ahead and staying ahead on that time so you don't keep um, having these, these shootouts. That's a big advantage, gaining that time. All right. And we're going to stay over at the Romantic Farm. Do I meet the criteria? Six clues and love is full. Bonnie and Clyde spent the night together. They were about to turn themselves in, but the Texas Ranger, it came to their hideout, and you know what they decided? They decided they were going to go out in a bang, and I'm so sad they did, and they died. And that, my friends, is Bonnie and Clyde, Love and Death, Easy Mode, Scalable Difficulty. All right, so 
Final thoughts on the game. After playing it, I don't know, a handful of times, dozen times, uh, let's say ten times, all right? I've got, I've got quite a few plays in of this game. First of all, let's talk about the gameplay. Let's make this super fast. Let's make this fast. Look, you can you you can see how it works. It's a puzzle, right? You got to get your ammo up. You got to get your money up. You got to get your food up. But in order to get those things up, something else has to be spent. In order to stay overnight, you have to drop your food, right? You, so your your bars are going up and down all the time. You got to keep their love up. But in order to keep their love up, you got to do stuff. And if you do stuff that costs you ammo, which may cost you to go down a row, which may cost memory, which causes things to go down, you get the point. You have a lot of interaction. It's a puzzle of things going up and down and up and down and just trying to get the right balance while also taking risks, right? You got to take risks. Like, man, Clyde is one health away from being dead, but I got to push forward and get those clues or push forward and get that love or get that loot. You got to just do it. So there's taking risk. There's no dice, right? But is there randomness? Absolutely. Look at these cards. You never know what you're going to draw, but you can still plan. You can plan. You can plan, even though you don't know what's coming up on that card or what's coming up out of this stick up. Thematics. Oh my goodness. Thematics. That's a word, right? Thematically. Thematically, I was able to tell a story. Every time that I played this game, I told a story to myself. It truly is a road trip between Bonnie and Clyde. And you know what? They weren't good people. What they did was terrible. And there's no glorifying it either. You're, you're playing through what they did. In the end, they have to face justice as they do, but you can kind of try to weave in a bit of a fictional story to get them to at least have one last night together, one last night of love, maybe something a little better than whatever it was they had. I actually have to look it up because I haven't, I listened to a podcast about them, but um, I just don't remember much. So thematics, it all makes, all the thematics make sense. You spend gas to drive down the road. If you take a turn off of the road, there's no going back. I mean, it just makes sense. I don't, you, you've seen the playthrough. If you haven't, go watch the playthrough. Um, thematics are no problem at all. Graphics, okay, so love it. Love this. Look, look at Bonnie and Clyde. Look at this dude. I like the I like the merchant. It should be said, this is a prototype, okay? This is not the final version. From what I understand, the art is just about final, if not final. Um, I did bring out that the road cards, now I have no problem with it, but I was, um, I was a little concerned that uh, gamers might want more color on the road cards. So I asked, because, you know, you've, I, I like the muted, I love the muted look, actually, but it's still, you know, the, the yellows and oranges. But I was worried that this would be a little too, too much, even though they've got cool stains and stuff on them. Um, so I asked about it, and the, the graphic design artist actually imitated it after a, a couple comic illustrators. Some of them do some of the Batman stuff, which I, rec I recognize immediately. Because I remember it's like black and white with a few of the orange yellow tones. So I get it. So it is intentional. I'm totally fine with it. Um, but just so you know, that is intentional. I did ask about it just for that. I forget the comic illustrator's names. And I don't remember the, who's the graphic designer's name? Is it um, Viani Carvalho? I don't know for sure. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. But I love your graphic design. Clyde looks fantastic. Bonnie. All of the these things are accurate to the 1930s. That's actually a reason that there aren't car meeples. I would like to see car meeples. So the designer is having a hard time finding car meeples that would be accurate to the 1930s. This dude is a like a historian, professor guy. He's smart and stuff. Um, this is not, Bonnie and Clyde is the, not his area of expertise. It's actually a different area of, I think it's in America with the labor movements. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Um, nevertheless, he's a historian. Accuracy is important. So you got accuracy through this whole thing. It is a work of love and a work of art. That's how I feel about it. You can see the art. You can decide for yourself whether it's for you. I don't want to convince you one way or another. Graphic design. It is so readable. Look, I, I did not. I had a couple questions as I was playing through um, and so I'll reach out to the designer about that as the rule book is not final yet. Um, so those questions should be answered in the final version. They were small questions, but um, 
I can read. So I know from the bottom of the road, I know if it's yellow, it's mandatory. If it's white, it's optional. So I, you know, I have to flip a memory card or I have to gain a clue or I gain time. Or if I flip this over, all of the, all of the stuff, I can read it. I can read from the bottom to the top. I know I do this first and then I can do optional stuff afterward. I love that. That makes me so happy in a game when I can lay it out and I can read it and just worry about playing the game. And then maybe the first two games, you're going to have a few questions that you'll consult the rules, but not much. Let's go to learning curve. This is a, I would call this a medium weight game because the graphic design is so good. It can feel like a lighter medium weight game, but because of the difficulty, it can feel like a medium heavy game. So we'll call it a medium game. Call it what you like. Give me your feedback on it. If this is helpful, give me a like as always. Do the YouTube stuff. Love you for it. Thank you. Very readable. Calms me down to look at it. I appreciate that. The only icon that's not there is um, that your first action, your first stop on the road is free. The next stop costs you time. I don't want to clutter the card by putting that there. And actually, there is a cheat sheet card. This one's just in French. There will be one in English. And so it may actually say on there, which would take care of it. But you know what? I've been playing through without a cheat card. And I haven't cared. That's amazing. That makes me so happy. That's the opposite of Preda Porter. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, can't praise the game too much. What's a negative? A negative could be the length. It's about an hour, an hour play uh, for me. I can't seem to get it under that. Someone else probably can. So, uh, a challenge, I don't know if this is a negative, but this is what I notice, is getting your love meter to the top and getting your six clues to the top and your loot. The loot's no problem. You rob two banks, you get your two loot. Unless, again, this is scalable difficulty. I am playing it on the easy mode that came with the prototype. On the Kickstarter, you'll see the different scaling difficulty levels. This is a solo game, so it's very variable. And uh, look out for it. There should be a campaign mode as well where you gain experience with each play. I don't know all the details about that yet, but look for it. Look for it. Looks cool. All right. Anyway, so you can end up uh, in a troublesome spot sometimes where you'll have six clues and you'll have two loot and your love will be full and you draw a memory card right before you can stay the night and it drops your love by two. And you're like, really? And so you have to make it to the next day, but to stay over, you don't have any money, so you have to spend clues and you're back down. But, so it, that can draw the game out a little bit longer. However, if you build up a nice engine with your weapons and with your vehicle and with your choices as to whether to stop and just pay money peaceably or to stick a place up or to drive a highway or to drive a road, if you make wise choices, you're going to help to mitigate that. Um, and again, this is a game I'm, I feel like I'm just starting to really get the hang of after several plays in. So that's not because it's a big learning curve. I would say give yourself two, uh, two to three plays. Two plays, really. One play is practice. Two plays, you've got it. Three plays, you're like, okay, I'm flowing. But it's a solo game. And that's what you do with solo games, right? We, we play them more, usually, more um, than multiplayer, at least in my case. So there we go. Um, quality of components I'm not covering because this is a prototype and that's not fair. So when we see the final version on Kickstarter, feel free to do that. I'm happy with what I have. I like the size of the cards. Of course, bonuses would, I would love if these were cardboard. Um, if they aren't, it's fine. This game is $24 for the uh, early bird special, $27 for the full game. And this, this little game box is packed to the brim. So it's it's gone. Let's just accept it. Let's let's accept it. It's over. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna pick you back up, but I can't get out of this. Once I'm in this chair, I'm stuck. That's how it works. Components replayability. I think you can see it's highly replayable because you start in your easy mode and you get that down, and you're right, like, all right, I want to try the next mode. All right, and I've got you know hard mode just on these cards here. So, and then we'll find out about the 
uh, campaign thing, but even just the scalable difficulty and the variability of drawing cards, you know, you can get 10 plays out of this, which is pretty, that's good for a game. You can play more than that, but I mean, let's face it, that's, that's pretty good for one game. You can get more than 10 plays out of it. That's the replayability, and I have replayed it. So, do I recommend this game? As always, I don't do that. I gave you a playthrough, I gave you an apertif or a primer, and I gave you my thoughts on it. This is a game I personally am backing because I like it. I made the preview video on the Kickstarter because I like it. Um, no, none of it's none of it's sponsored, none of it's paid. Um, I personally enjoy it. And here's what I like. The last thing, last thing, and I'll let you go. I generally wouldn't like a theme like this because I don't like the idea of guns and shooting people and all that. I'm not a big fan of any of that. What I do like, though, this does not sanitize um, what happened, right? So what these two people did, it was, it really was terrible, even without knowing all the details. And in this game, you're not changing history. You're, you're just, you're playing it out and trying to get them to the romantic farm, but they face justice. There's no way out of it. The cops are not bad guys, right? And you actually feel kind of bad about it. And I like that when there are casualties, it's a negative, right? The, the more casualties, the worse it is. You lose love, you lose stuff, right? So I appreciate that. They didn't fluff it up. They didn't make it funny or anything, but it's also not too somber. It's fun. It's a fun road trip with some terrible things that happen. That's it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what questions you have. I'm sure the designer is going to be in here as well. Maybe he can answer some questions. I love you all. See you next time.